there are so many people in the industry now affected, not mm -hmm. actually just the artists. It is a worrying time, but do, I also think that if it turns round and everything opens up, we're going to see the most chaotic busyness mm -hmm. we've ever seen. It's like nobody's ever went a night out when it comes back mm -hmm. right away. Well, I think one of the things, uh, I was speaking to Gary, Gary, but it got back, and he, like, he, it was him that said it, but he's like, I, I said, he said, he said, it's tough, he says, but I think some good things will come out of it. He says, because I think a lot of the, a lot of it was headed the wrong way as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of it is very, very hype-based, and, like, it's just the same massive, massive people, just, oh, yeah, it's Instagram, and they're just playing in front of God knows how many people, and it's a lot of it, it's a hype machine, and, the money and the and the stages and it's like it's getting to the point where it's like it's not really the whole point. It's not mm -hmm. what it was about. And I think it's maybe going to give it a reset. I've seen a few resets in my time because I've been as I say I've been teaching since I was about ten years old. Do you know what I mean? You had the kind of you had the you had the kind of the more sort of acid stuff in the sort of the late eighties, the early nineties, and then that the race started, and then it got really heavier, and then. Eventually, the bubble burst through all the hardcore stuff, and then you had the more commercial dance in the mid '90s, and then that sort of commercial dance that blended into the kind of radio one accessible dance music, like Lalo Bushwhack and all that kind of stuff. And there was big, massive events. Then that, then that crashed again. And then mid 2000s, the kind of minimal techno sparked the thing of oh, here's techno, but in a slightly different way. And then techno came back round. And, uh, and, and I think I think this is almost going to be like another induced crash that was probably going to come anyway yeah. because things were just heading too up too quick and just weren't realistic so i think i think it's probably going to stop things and it's probably going to put a lot of a lot of the big artists that would only play places like this and whatever and a lot of these big mega hypes and big sort of arenas and stuff like that's going to just stop that dead for a while so i think it's going to shake everything mm. up quite a bit that's interesting. You might get like, all the big hit major headliners playing small shows again and doing like a couple right. of hundred people at a time. Do you know what I mean? Club 69 wanting 50 grand. It might be caps of like, it could only be like, a few hundred crowds. So right. how would they, 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 do you know what I mean? So Resetting again, as you say, for, for the core. But the whole, the whole thing it started as an underground movement, like hip hop or anything else, and then it becomes so commercial and so yeah. shit. Right. But it's like everyone and their dog now wants to do it. So it's actually probably a good point where we need to go a little bit back underground. And it's like, Maybe. are we allowed to have this party or no? Well, we're going to do it anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you never know, I. But, the, but yet, yet again, we're still to find out in the long term how heavy the government are going to be. 